My goal has always been to synchronize indigenous cultures, you know, to see the similarities as opposed to the differences. So when it came to comedic culture, I was always fascinated with the primordial mound, simply because of the use of the word mound. That's something that I related to indigenous American culture. And as I looked deeper into the similarities, I found at the base of both cultures is the idea of the primordial mound raising out of the waters. And from that you get the concept of Peter building his house on a rock. The Aztec myth of a snake and an eagle on a rock. So I had my close friend Clico the Naga in the Soup Bitti, you know, had to meet me at the museum out here and break down some of the Medunetta. See, type of peers that I'm uh, proud to say I have are not only, not only are they uh, invested in the cultures they speak of, but they actually spent the time to learn them. And practice them so my friend speaks the Medunetta, he can read the Medunetta. So he met me down there so we could uh just begin this conversation. This is P. This is a P, which is a reed mat, it, it's the it makes the P sound, the reed mat, and the bread loaf makes the T sound, and this is a twisted flax which makes the sound, the H sound. So this says, Pata. And it says, E-A, this is an or, it means great, so the great pata, because the adjective follows the noun in Medunetra. And notice, pata is holding a was scepter, was means dominion, and a jed, a jed um, means um, stability and also he's standing on my at. This is called a, um, <clears throat> what are the um, so called Egyptologists call it? They call it a, um, a plinth. The Egyptologists call this a plinth, but it's a, it's a wedge, a ramp. And this is, you know, my at means balance. So when they stand a statue on a pedestal, and so the statue doesn't tip over, so it brings balance to the statue. So, so this is my eye, like functionality of my eye also. 